I know you're thinking, why should I be showing you normal large intestine? Well, if you really look closely and you go through all the classical normal histology of a colon, you can see a normal mucosa, a normal submucosa, a normal uh, circular layer, a normal longitudinal layer, blah, blah, blah. Some lymphoid follicles out there in the submucosa extend to the mucosa, normal glands, no inflammation, no neoplasm. So you'd think this is normal. And it is. Not really, though, because if you look closely, the one thing you frequently don't look for in a normal colon are the little things that uh, you just ignore. And those are the ganglion cells. Uh, you should remember that there are two areas in any part of the gastrointestinal system, including and especially the colon, in which we have uh, ganglia. One is in the submucosa of the colon, and the other one is uh, the so-called myenteric plexus between the circular and longitudinal. And the myenteric plexus of our Bach is usually easier to find. And sometimes you have to look a little bit higher, harder to find the submucosal Meissner's um, plexus. They are ganglion cells. It's like the own intrinsic uh, brain cells of a bowel. And they can operate completely independently of central nervous system control. And when we were all worms, that's probably where our brains were inside of our colon. Uh, we could look if you want, and you could look if you want, but you're not going to find any here because this is a patient that does not have them. This is a congenital disease. The congenital absence of both Meissner's submucosal as well as Auerbach's myenteric uh, plexus, nerve plexus, is called Hirschsprung's disease. It's a congenital disease. It's usually suspected in babies who uh, haven't pooped uh, meconium within a day or so after they're born. And uh, because uh, of the lack of these, the uh, there is considerable building up of fecal material in the lower colon. It could become dilated. It could become distended. The wall be can become paper thin, and it could rupture. And it could cause massive peritonitis, and it could kill the person. Uh, now, if you look here, you could probably see something that might look like nerves, and probably will be. But notice there are no ganglion cells. You know, there's only uh, little nerve fibers there. So if you are really, really thorough, and besides looking for the four classical layers of the colon, and you also looked for the every time you looked at a colon, you looked at the, uh, to find the submucosal and myenteric ganglion cells, then uh, you would see that uh, this one is absent. Uh, you can also see in this colon, for some reason, there's a little bit of chronic inflammation there along the uh, serosa as well. Thank you very much.